Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapada Shimange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you. Now, there are no instructions on what you should do in the scenarios. No, 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 no. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. That is it. If you think it's a good idea, it is completely up to you to use it or not to use it. No stress, no pressure, nothing. Completely up to you. Do with it what you will. If you are awake at 7.30 in the morning, I'd like to say good morning to everybody in the morning party. Everybody who wakes up at 7.30 South African time to join the live premiere and the live chat with every single video. So if you have been missing out, 7.30 South African time, live chat, live premiere, I'll be there to chat with you as well and to say good morning party people. Now today we are talking about this one thing. There's this one thing that we are doing that is just holding us back in all the areas of our lives, all right? From our sex lives. Our sex lives are suffering. It's not going down the way it should go down. We just, we don't have the energy to make it go down. And when we do, it's just, it's terrible. It's meh. It's just not great. It's just meh. Nobody wants to have meh sex. No, 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 no. Your man does not deserve that. You don't deserve that. You need the full brunt of the situation when it happens right the other thing is a good career you want to be propelling in life you want to know that i am a wonder kid i am as brilliant as i think i am nah i'm the best thing that has ever happened to this company or this situation this industry or this field i am the one nakari busa self i am the party i am the number one keepers party of the season when it comes to this work that i am doing because i'm brilliant i'm coming up with ideas i'm making things happen i am innovative i am dynamic as they like to call it then there's also just your money situation you want that situation to constantly be growing you always want to be making more money your net worth you want to be decreasing the debt and you want to be increasing the assets the things that are making you even more money and just increasing that life of yours but there's this one thing that we are doing constantly always we think that is it is helping us but it's actually not helping us and i'm seeing all these questions that you guys are sending on instagram and i'm thinking to yourself to myself you guys are an enemy of progress and you don't even know it so today, I'm going to tell you about this one thing that we are doing to take us backwards, to make our sex lives, our money, and our careers suffer, and how we don't even know all about it. But I'll share that with you in a second. If you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to Atkopanashibanke on my Instagram and look for this picture right here. Reply and let me know what you want to see or hear in our next video. But until then, let's get into this number one thing that we're doing and how we can identify ourselves as enemies of progress when it comes to our sex life, our money, and our careers. Now there's 10 questions that I want you to ask yourself to identify this enemy tendencies because we must shoot down the enemy because the enemy cannot take us backwards. Here's the thing. People who sleep more are more successful. People who sleep more have proven in studies internationally that they are able to have better sex lives, a higher net worth, achieve more goals and overall just be happier people we are just angry people we can't come up with ideas and we always just think into ourselves what's that word what's that word what's that word it's on the tip of my tongue just wait 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 wait, wait. i know the word i know the word and we don't know the word because we haven't slept sleep is the key to improving all of these things now there's 10 questions i have for you you may be thinking to yourself ah no, I sleep on time, I got this. But many of us don't sleep on time. And even when we do, the quality of our sleep is meh, meh, meh. So here's 20 questions for you to know if you are an enemy of progress and if you're letting sleep take you backwards. Number one, do you eat chocolate? Do you smoke or drink tea or coffee six hours before you go to sleep? A lot of you are just like, do, 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 six hours before I sleep. Yeah six hours it affects the quality of your sleep you will be hyperactive during your sleep because of the caffeine content that is actually in the products that you're consuming especially if you are smoking coffee your teas your chocolates 
fizzy drinks and sometimes your juices may also affect this but these are the ones that actually stand out the most the quality of your sleep is completely affected by this and this then affects how you make your decisions it affects how your sex life is going it all compounds the more you do this bad habit the more you are going to continue to decrease your innovation decrease your brilliance your greatness you'll be thinking to yourself you know i i definitely believe that i'm meant for something greater but that greatness is sleep behind piles of chocolate piles of cake piles of tea piles of coffee and honestly I am one of those people who likes chocolate so this one is a bit of a hard one for me but if you do let go of it to six hours before you go to sleep you have a much better quality of not of life and also your sleep number two do you have sex before bed yes then good that's what you want to do if you do not have your man next to you every night when you go to sleep then maybe you should indulge in some exercise if you get your body going if you get that sweat going if you get that body activity just you know get it on once a day then you are able to actually sleep much much better i realized this when i was pregnant i liked all sorts of activities and they helped me to sleep much better on the days where i did none of the above no exercise, no in it with a sack in the sheets with my man, I then realized that I didn't sleep well. But this actually works for everyone. Having sex before bed is a form of exercise and it counts, so good on you. But if you can't indulge in it every day, then try to exercise. Just get your heart rate going for about five minutes a day, burn that energy and you'll see that your sleep is much better every single night. Number three, what time do you eat at night? Are you eating less than three hours before you go to bed? Well, then you are affecting your quality of sleep. Now, here's the thing. The quality of sleep is important because it allows your body to fully shut down. When you are fully shut down, then your body gets to work on repairing things, getting things back to their full energy. Your brain gets to actually rest and you get to work up that capacity for the rest of the day you work at optimal levels if you think you're creative now try and get some consistent sleep and see that you will actually turn into a genius and you'll be like i did not know i was this clever i did not know i did not know that i was a genius i'm sorry i just did not sleep enough number four are you a fan of nightcaps especially the alcoholic kind now when you have a nightcap, just a glass of wine or a beer before you go to sleep, it makes you feel relaxed, right? Just that little, you know, a bit of gin and some tonic or a little bit of vodka and something or a whiskey and something. It eases the body. You can just feel it just flowing to your fingertips and everything, even your nail is relaxed. So it must be easier to sleep, right? Huh. It may be easier to fall asleep, but it becomes harder to stay asleep. Your body naturally bounces back. It's the same as a sugar rush. When kids go up with a sugar rush, they come back down crashing after the sugar's all gone. Alcohol is the reverse. It lets you calm down at the beginning, but it brings you up at the end. So in the middle of the night, you may come up a little bit and you may become restless and it just wastes the type of sleep that you can have. So maybe take that nightcap a few hours before you go to bed it's not actually a good idea to use it to fall asleep because at the end of the day your sleep is still going to be nonsense even though you used alcohol to fall asleep number five when was the last time you refreshed your mattress now my mom-in-law told me a very interesting thing and i need you guys to let me know if this is the truth it turns out that women change their mattresses more than men do is that true? I know as women we like to change things up, we like to switch things up in our houses, but I'm not really sure if men do the same thing too. You may be wondering that, Ish, yo, my back, and you be there, you wake up in the morning, you need to just crack your back because you're just like, yeah, when I sleep sometimes, and you're not relating it back to your mattress. You may have had that same mattress for five years plus, and that thing is tired. You know when your mattress is tired, your mattress is more tired than you are. And that's why it's making you sleep even worse. Your mattress contributes to how well your body is able to decompress, relax and sleep. Try it. 
change your mattress it will it will change your life now i changed my mattress recently got a new bed from dialer bed and it was the easiest process ever their delivery was absolutely amazing and when they delivered it they removed everything for me and basically they installed my bed which was the best service i've ever gotten it's really easy to get a bed from dialer bed and you should actually try it remember not sponsored i'm just letting you know it's the plug of the day use it don't use it it's up to you number six is your bedroom a multi-purpose area now what i mean by this is that a bedroom is actually meant for sleeping so are you doing anything other than sleeping in your bedroom now sleeping together the activities that happen when you sleep together those are permitted in the bedroom those are very important sleep is a very you know sex and sleep very integral parts of our lives those two when you put them together you become more productive you make more money your life is better you're a happier person you have decluttered from the inside out you are just talala wa khalalela as a person you are just the best human being you shine you sparkle when you have had sex and sleep so are you doing something other than having sex and sleeping in your bedroom and if you are you may want to get rid of those things because those things actually cause anxiety so if you like working in your bedroom if you like to do a whole lot of activities in the bedroom you associate your bedroom to that thing even if it is ironing you just think to yourself piles and piles of sheets and trying to iron a fitted sheet how do you iron a fitted sheet right there on your bed so try and remove all of those things that are associated with work and associated with anxiety because it just changes the way that your mind is associated with the bedroom because sometimes you'll be going to bed and you're thinking to yourself kind of how do i iron a fitted sheet i need to iron a fitted sheet and you sleep with that anxiety of ironing a fitted bloody sheet so remove those things remove those activities from your bedroom now if you're staying in an area where you have your study or your work area in your bedroom try to move it to a specific area of the room and don't take the work outside of that corner if you have a corner for your work keep it to that corner and let it stay there so that your bedroom is a sanctuary of sleep sex and good time number seven do you have a night routine now when you think about a night routine you're thinking i am not a baby i don't need to be washed and put to bed at night i'm fine with a night routine a night routine really does help you to bring it all down at the end of the day a night routine is basically saying three to four steps that i do every single night before i go to bed do you switch off your phone at a certain time do you switch off your tv at a certain time do you have a glass of water before going to sleep brush your teeth wash your face say your prayer and get into bed that is a night routine that is basically a process that you follow to get yourself ready for bed that process actually helps your body to get ready to sleep number eight do you sleep with stress do you take your stress to bed or do you dump it at the door make a conscious effort to dump it at the door if you literally have to stand behind the line i know this sounds so weird stand behind the line and be like all right, I am dumping the stress of that mean ass boss. I am dumping the stress of that girl who just likes to gossip and talk about everybody at the office. I am dumping the stress of that wig that that hairstylist has completely ruined. It's okay, I forgive her, I'm moving on. Dumping the stress, moving into sleep. If you need to do that, then do it. It may seem like such a weird thing, but if you make your bedroom a stress-free zone, then your sleep will be much better. And remember, better sleep, better sex, better money, better career, better, better self, better skin. Sleep is just the best thing that you could do for yourself. And number nine, how many blue lights do you see before you go to sleep? Now, what is blue light? We now use quite a lot of LED lights. Our lights are LED, so every single light in our bedroom may be LED. Your TV is an LED screen. Your cell phone has the same screen and your computer has the same screen. So this light is actually known to wake you up. As a trick that I do when I breastfeed and I don't want to fall asleep, I actually switch on my phone because I know that the blue light is going to keep me awake. But if you want to go to sleep, then you need to stop seeing blue lights before you go to sleep. So about 30 minutes to an hour, start to switch off as many blue lights as you possibly can. A trick that many people do is that they actually have yellow light or 
daytime type of light in their bedroom so anything that is yellow and not necessarily white will help you to stay away from that blue light that keeps you awake and finally number 10 do you shut down there are certain appliances certain mechanics we've seen robots they shut down they don't just land on a place and then that's it there's a process to shutting down shutting down means that you are switching off different parts of your body at a certain time the biggest part of the body that causes us not to sleep well is this one right here what's going on in our minds what we're thinking about all the stress that we have that usually keeps us awake and we have to shut it off if we want to sleep really well so a really good way to do this is to do a brain dump so dump all of the stresses all of the things that you're thinking about onto a piece of paper before you go to sleep shut the book and put it away and that's such a good way for you to shut down before you go to sleep shutting down when you go to sleep helps you to have a much more relaxed better quality sleep and like you know better sex better money better life better personality you become innovative you start glowing your skin is just doing all the good things sleep is your friend so if you really want to get that good sleep at night try and invest in a journal or a book that you can just write down all the things that stress you before you go to sleep put it away shut it down and go to sleep look many of us associate going to sleep with being poor but if you think about it sleeping more makes you a better decision maker helps you to make better decisions in your career in your life and in your money making activities too so if you really want to try and turn on that switch to your brilliance then you definitely want to try and sleep a little more so what have you been doing how were your answers to the 10 questions are you an enemy of your own progress or are you making your way to that good sleep and that good life now hope that you guys enjoyed this one give it a big thumbs up if you do comment down below and let me know which one stood out for you so that we can make more videos like this one until next time beautiful people i'm kapanish Shimange, and this is how i do things